All right, so I went on a decent endurance ride today. We've got some quick step footage in the background. Uh, this is just us cruising up Northern Summit. Pretty old footage, but it's always always good to roll out the pro footage. Everyone loves riding with the pros. So anyway, I did like a decent ride. Four hours today, 170 average power. I think normalized was about, about 200 or so. So not a crazy, crazy high endurance ride for me. Pretty chill, uh, but I didn't really eat anything on the ride. Like I had a little bit of food, so I had a little bit of oats, maybe like 40 grams of oats, maybe. Bit of water, bit of sugar with the oats. Yeah, normalized was like 197. Um, and then on the ride, I had a little bit of sugar water, but again, didn't really put much sugar in it, so it wasn't really very useful. So I pretty much didn't really eat much during the whole ride. Um, how did I feel? Like first two hours, real chill. Just felt like, man, normal. Like I was real tired because we, we woke up, I woke up at 4.30 because we had the ride start at five, because um, we didn't want to get burnt. Um, but anyway, so I was feeling pretty cooked, to be honest. Um, no, pretty good, sorry, for the first two hours, but just pretty cooked, like, mentally. But legs felt good. And then the last two hours, I was real suffering. Like, Hayden and Paul were with us, so I did a bit of drafting in the, like, third hour. And then the last hour, I just banged out, like, me and Paul were just on the front trying to average 35 or whatever. Uh, which is always a good good little, like, fun game to play when you're, like, trying to average some speed. So you have to go push a little bit harder on your endurance rides than you normally would. Um, but, yeah, I was just like, oh, God. Like, it's not... It's weird, like I seem to, I could probably, could have ridden another hour without eating anything else and probably would have been fine. But you can feel like you're not optimal. Like we did a little sprint, just like a real little sprint. Um, and I was just like, it really gets to you. Like your, your legs feel bad, you're sort of out of breath and like you just don't really feel like you could ride like high intensity. But I like 200, 220 watts, which for me is like lower endurance. Um, it's just not really too tiring, like really. Um, I don't really find it's mega bad to ride, but like without eating that much at that sort of intensity. Like obviously if you wanna go faster, you need more food, but when you're doing that sort of intensity, like we burnt 2,800 calories on that ride because it was flat, we literally pedaled the whole time. Um, but even so, it's just like, it doesn't really require too much food. Um, but it's interesting, it's just like you don't feel as good like at the end of the ride, I was real cooked and just like went straight to well, get, get some food. Uh, well, normally let's say about even in the ride, we stopped at two hours, b bought some drinks or whatever. Uh, it, I would have felt a lot like stronger at the end. And I also would have felt um, probably a little bit more happy and not as like, oh, I just want to get home. Like mentally you feel different, but in terms of like physically, like I feel like if you have decent amount of endurance, like a four hour ride with no food, like you should, probably should be able to do it. If you eat a little bit before, um, and just don't go mega hard, like you should, probably should be able to do it. Um, it's sort of a good thing to do because people are always like, oh, you need to have be fat adapted, not eat before and like, you know, train the fat burning. But the thing is zone two is such a good way of like utilizing your um, fat burning ability and improving your mitochondrial efficiency, which is basically what happens, like people try and increase their mitochondrial efficiency um, by basically not eating, like doing zone two and fasting rides. But I feel like if you just do more zone two rides, unless you're like a, a pro and you really need to get those like last tiny little benefits, and even then the literature isn't great on that, like just doing <laughs> endurance rides and eating, like obviously, um, will train you pretty well. And like you'll become pretty efficient uh, if you just do long endurance rides. And then you'll be able to just gradually eat less. Like when I first started cycling, I had to eat loads on like a two hour ride because I just wasn't efficient. And now like today, even like a year, a year ago, like four hour ride, no food, I probably would have bonked pretty badly. Like for the same relative intensity. So like 60% intensity, more or less. Um, 65, I think it was when, uh, with the normalized. So like if I'd done 65% of my FTP back then a year ago for four hours, I definitely would have bonked. But now like my endurance has got better. So you just don't need to eat as much food because you just burn more of it from fat and less of it from glycogen. So overall, I feel like it's interesting to see how like if you're really that dependent on sugar, and I feel like at the beginning you just are, because you're just not that efficient. And also you probably ride, you're not as strict on your zones. Well, this ride I was like pretty strict. And also I was drafting for a decent amount where I was like doing real low watts, so that helps as well. Um, but yeah, Paul ate nothing on the ride as well, I don't think, um, but he's like very efficient as well. Um, he didn't seem nearly as cooked as me. Um, but I think he ate a little bit before. Like, I'm not saying this is a good thing to do uh, for your training, as in like, if this, like, because it sort of cooks you, like I got home, had a three hour sleep or whatever because I woke up quite early and like I'm now not feeling in great condition. But if you're like, I don't know, like you can do it. And it's just quite cool that you can, like you can actually ride for four hours even though you do no faster training and it's all good.
like this obviously wasn't fasted, but as in like you don't need to do fasting to increase your mitochondrial efficiency so that you can ride four hours with no food. Um, but yeah, obviously in a stage race, you'd want to eat because the next day recovery and all that stuff. But tomorrow's a rest day for me, so I can just, you know, get some good sleep, get some good food down then, and it's all good. And then straight after my ride, I had quite a lot of food, um, so that was all good. So I was feeling, feeling tired still, but not feeling mega, like, um, not feeling like mega cooked from my legs. But yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. Like, how long, how long have you gone without food? I feel like maybe next time I should do a five hour ride, no food, and see if I see if I'm all right. As in, like on the ride, obviously eat beforehand. I probably eat more beforehand than I did in this time. I actually had no more oats, so there was uh, no opportunity to eat more unless I had more sugar. But I just like I just can't eat very much sugar. Um, like it just don't really, it doesn't really appeal to me that much. Like I use it just because it does work, but like the taste is like meh, not really great. Um, I normally only have it and like with my oats in the morning or if I have it in like a bottle, otherwise I don't really have much sugar because I just don't really like it, like the flavor very much or the taste. Uh, but anyway, yeah, how long, maybe I should do five hours next week, no food, see, it, see how we feel. Uh, try and stick similar intensity because some of the other rides I've done, I've done a bit more intensity, like 240 normalized for four and a half hours or something the other day. Um, and that was, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely a little more tiring. Um, and I couldn't have done that faster, but if it's like below like maybe 230 watts for me, like probably below 220 watts average, um, like normalized or um, then it's probably all chill. Uh, I'll probably be able to do that. Uh, no worries um, without food potentially. But anyway, cheers for watching uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, my God.